Can I help you stand? No, I'm okay. I'm being very honest. I'm not really, I'm not even drunk. I'm just... Okay, can you stand up, please? Mm-hmm. So it's 22 degrees. It's, it's a little bit cold. It's well, really cold. It's all just like this much. Yeah. And I'm not even drunk. I'm being honest. I didn't drink anything. I'm just Okay, then, sad. then what, why are you not able to keep your balance? Because I'm really sad. Mary Craig was an 18-year-old student at Washington State University who liked to party and drink with her friends. On the night of October 28, 2023, she attended a party at Beasley Coliseum, where she had too much to drink and became very intoxicated. She left her jacket and hat at the party and went outside with her sister, who was also drunk. They lay down on the grass near the intersection of Northeast Orchard Drive and Northeast Fairway Lane where they were spotted by Sergeant Reuben Harris, a police officer who was on patrol. Sergeant Harris approached the two girls and noticed that they were showing signs of impairment. He asked them for their names and dates of birth, but Mary lied to him and gave him false information. She also claimed that she was not drunk, even though she could barely stand up. Sergeant Harris checked her information with dispatch and found out that she was lying. You guys okay? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm okay. A guy made me very sad. Okay. <laughs> she made me very sad. No, but I'm really okay. I just cried a little bit. Where do you Where are you uh, headed? Uh, Where's home? Oh, okay. Just on the other side. I'm sorry. Can I help you stand? No, I'm okay. I'm being very honest. I'm not really. I'm not even drunk. I'm just. Okay. Can you stand up, please? Mm-hmm. So it's 22 degrees. It's, it's a little bit cold. It's well, really cold. It's all just like this much. Yeah. I'm not even drunk. I'm being honest. I didn't drink anything. I'm just okay, very then, sad. Okay, then what, why are you not able to keep your balance? Because I'm really sad. Okay. So if it's not alcohol, what is it? Sadness, you know? Okay. So please don't lie to me. You always have the right to remain silent. You do not have the right to lie. Yeah. My primary concern is your safety. Yeah. So I realize you're not feeling the cold because of your emotions and alcohol and whatever else is going on. Yeah. But I don't want you to freeze to death out here. I won't. I'm like, I live right down the street. Okay. Can you show me which way Goldsworthy is from here? That way and then you go, go down the street and then right down the street from here. You know? It's a little farther than right down the street, but yes, that's it's the general like direction. It's like pretty right down the street from here. Okay. I don't have my ID on here, but I am 21. Okay. I pinky promise, but what, I don't have your, my what's ID. What's your date of birth? My date of birth, 922-200. And you're how old? 23. <laughs> almost 23. Okay. So. That does make me almost 23. Okay. So you don't know how old you are. I unusual like, for someone who's almost 23 to be living in the dorms. I don't want to buy my own apartment because I can't afford it. Okay. But I can afford to live in the dorms. What's your last name? Craig, C-R-A-I. And your first name? Mary, M-A-R-Y. And your middle initial? E. E. Date of birth? Wait, hold on, let me think. Not two. Nine, twenty-two, zero, zero. How old are you? Twenty, twenty-two. That's, are you asking me a question? No, I'm thinking, hold on, let me think. What's your phone number? Well, that's my mom's. I can't remember. But I remember... 406, named California. Last of Craig, Charles, Robert, Adam, Ida, George. First of Mary, Mary, Adam, Robert, Young. Middle initial E, Edward. Dead of birth, 092200, female, California.
Wait, I'm thinking. Good. Copy. So is that your sister's name? Fuck, I don't even know. I think... Shit, I don't know. Her name yes. is Mary Craig. My name okay. is Mary Craig. What's your date of birth? 92205. Shit, I'm too mad. You're supposed to be honest. I'm sorry. I can't even. I'm being honest. I'm just now. I know. Home 406. What's the date of birth on the return? I can tell you. Fuck. I'm so sorry. I lied. He confronted her and she finally admitted her real identity and age. Sergeant Harris decided to arrest her for her safety and for making false statements. He put her in his patrol car and drove her to the police station. On the way to the station, Mary vomited in the car. She was very sad and apologized to the officer. She also asked him some questions about her sister and her belongings. Sergeant Harris tried to calm her down and told her that he would help her. He also told her that she was being recorded and that she had the right to remain silent. So, um... I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to lie to you, it just came out of your mouth. Yeah, you, so your friend's not really able to get you where you're going. Uh, so I'm going to place you under arrest for your own safety to make sure you don't freeze out here. I'm so sorry. So go ahead and put your hands behind your back, please. When they arrived at the station, Sergeant Harris booked her and put her in a cell. He asked her some more questions and filled out a form. He also advised her of her constitutional rights and gave her a citation for being a minor intoxicated in a public place and making a false statement to a public servant. Later on, Mary stayed in the cell for a few hours until she sobered up. Oh no, are we in the police station? Yep. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Is it locked? Yep, it'll be unlocked here in a second. I'm not listening to you. I didn't even think I'd drink that much. I think it's because I didn't eat dinner tonight. I didn't mean to. I thought I would eat dinner tonight, but then I didn't. Who is that standing in the office there? She's very pretty. Can okay. I talk to her? Can nope. I tell her that she's very pretty? Nope. Oh, okay. Can you kick your shoes off, please? They're tied. I can't. Oh, okay. They're my fat shoes. Can you untie them, please? And then I can kick them off. Nope. Okay. And then I'm holding my friend's feet, but I don't think. Oh, you took my chapstick. I don't think, you know. Okay. I'm just holding my friend's feet, I think. Um, you think? Just me. Hold still. Okay. Anything in your back pockets? I'm not sure, sir. Okay. Unless this is my phone. Anything in your bra besides body parts? I don't believe so. So you're welcome to check so if you need to. I don't believe so. You need to. Oh, I think I have an Uno card in here. I do have an Uno card in here. Okay. I it's a skip one. Okay. So I can tell men that I don't know. Can you sit down, please, I so would, you don't fall down? I would love to sit down. Okay. Oh, pockets. I'm very sorry. Well, I just want you to be safe. Can I tell my mom that I'm sorry? Uh, can I see your hat, please? My hat? Yep. 
Thank you. Uh, can I see your jacket for a moment? I'm just wearing it because I'm cold. I left it outside the party. Where were you drinking? Um, the hockey house. The hockey house? Yes, you know. Okay, so it's kind of cold in here, so I'm going to let you keep this with you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, stand up, please. I would love to. Thank you, sir. Are you going to hold me overnight? Basically, I yes. I don't think my mom would like that very much. Step in here. She was then taken out by Officer Leggett, who photographed and fingerprinted her. He also gave her back her belongings, including her phone and her UNO card. He told her that she had four ways to deal with the citation and that she should not ignore it. He also told her that she was free to go and that she could make a phone call or walk to her dorm. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a picture, two pictures. I'm just going to have you stand over here, no handcuffs or nothing, you just got to stand by the, by the wall. After that, we're going to do some fingerprints. That can be a little time consuming, maybe 10 minutes. And then after that, we'll be out of here. Okay? You have any questions? Oh, what time is it? It is 8.22 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hang on just a second. This thing. There you go. All right, walk this way with me. Go to that corner there. Take a right turn. You feeling all right? Yeah, so stand right here by this blue. And look at that guy right there. I know, we're almost out of here, and it's cold outside. This is a better place to be. Hey, Sam, you good? Look right here. So without turning your body, see that red dot? Look right at that and just stay still. Okay, great. This is a new thing, so that worked. All right. Come on over here, stand right here. I'm going to ask you, do you have any scars, marks, or tattoos? No. No, no tattoos. All right. So we're going to move right along then. No, I don't want that. Miscellaneous identification. Nope, not going to do that. Okay. We're going to do fingerprints. All right, let's see how this works. Sometimes it's finicky, but there's no ink, so we're not going to stain any clothes. Okay. You got someone coming to pick you up? All right, we can make a phone call and figure that out. So left hand flat. I want these four fingers on this left hand right here. Come on, yep, step on over. And I'm going to guide you through this. Just don't press too hard. All right, there. there we go. Wait, wait. Try that one again. Cool. Lift up. Uh, right thumb. No, left thumb. So get your left thumb on there. Right thumb. Let's redo that one. Let's redo that one. Don't push just too much. There we go. And right hand flat. Right thumb roll. Yeah, these ones get tricky. So I'm going to start over here. And we're going to roll to the left. Oh, wait. 
Hey, you took it. Right index. There you go. Right middle. You got any friends in town? Yep. All right. Maybe one of them can come pick you up. It's your option. I don't think so. Okay. I think everyone's asleep. That's possible. Well, you can give them a call if you want, or it's it's you gotta walk it. I can walk it. All right. How far are you? Just in town, up in College Hill? I'm over on the south side of campus. <clears throat> in a dorm? Yeah. Um, where are we right now? Like, oh, I'll show you on the map. You are downtown, right? Ring finger. You are downtown right now. You familiar with the area? A little. Let's just Google Maps. Yeah, there you go. Your phone's still have power. Where is your phone, by the way? I don't think I have it. I didn't see it. In, we usually take all the stuff off. You can put it in a box. I don't see a phone. Oh, shit. Yeah, shoot, huh? Right ring finger. Let's focus here for now. We'll yeah. talk about phones in a minute. Probably lost it last night, huh? I don't think so. I think I had it when I was picked up. All right. Oh, that's got to be a good one. Come on. What? All right, let's try that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, little finger. Do you by chance have any water? Mm-hmm, I do. Let's get you a cup after this finger. All right. Step over here. Oh, we don't want that at all. Have you had a drink at all this evening? Early, uh, early Take yeah. Back in your cell, you got a sink. Go fill that up for you. Turn it on. Yeah, let's, let's, we'll let it go and it should turn on. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, back at it. He can just put that down over here. Left thumb. The left hand is always tricky. Let's see how it goes. Thumb. Thumb. How long you been at WSU? Um, this is my first semester. Oh. How's it been for you? Pretty good. Good. Let's try the other direction. I'm gonna rotate this way. I'm starting to hate my major though. Oh, what do you got? Chem. Ooh, gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> Those are my worst classes back in the day. Left little. <laughs> yeah, chemistry. And they're not gentle when you're new. Mm -hmm. That stuff comes at you fast. It's not like the other classes. It's very abstract. I ain't gonna go. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, we'll try one more. Okay. 
This is weird stuff. Can you put out? There you go. So it just, it's kind of like lotion. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that works. So, try that. that off. Oh, that's a good one. No way, man. We're good. All right. So you have a seat over in that brown chair there? Took a chapstick from you. And it had little cards on it. In my hat, I think. Really? All right. Well, I don't have anything here. I'll ask real quick, but I don't have nothing regarding that. Uh, they would have taken it from you. You would have signed a paper saying we took it, and you would put it in a box. I'm not seeing nothing in a box. Okay. So first oh, off. I have some there. Oh, here's a box. That is not a hat you go. That's not a hat you miss. Okay. And you got a phone. There you go. So, we're going to sign right. I have verified all the above prizes been returned to me, so look through your stuff. Make sure you got everything. And then we're going to sign right here. All right. Uno cards, there they are. All right, you take all your stuff. I'm keeping the box. You get the hat and all the stuff there. Signature. Alright, so you sign that. That's for me. That's for me. Sign here. Let me write, make a note for you. Sign where that blue line is, and also another one over here. Sign here. Sign here. I mean, these are your fingerprints. Mm -hmm. All right. Last one. This is one you're going to take with you. This is your citation mm -hmm. for last night. So you're a minor, mm -hmm. intoxicated in public, right? Yes. So illegal to drink under 21, right? Yeah. So don't drink and go in public. That's bad news. And lastly, you got false statements to a public servant. That means you lied about your name, right? I did. Okay. Don't do that anymore, okay? I was very drunk, and I think I gave it my sister's name. Yep. A huge thank you to Drive Through Tours for providing us with this video. You can view and drop a like on the raw footage over on their channel. If you want more of the craziest police encounters, have a look at our previous videos and subscribe to be notified of brand new police stops.